worry guys, um, back to do lesson for Clapton's uh, I Can't Stand It from the 1981 album Another Ticket. Um, I figured this would be a good way to break in this guitar. This is a, this is a 92 um, American made uh, Clapton Stratocaster. So, um, you're going to, it's going to be in the key of uh, A minor, and uh, in the beginning, um, going to start with, really the chords, if you were, the, if you were to play the chords in the first position, it would be... Um, But uh, that's not what Clapton's doing. Clapton's going to be. Gonna, what you're going to do is start with this. Go from the um, fifth of the low E. Five, three, five on the A. Three to the five on the A. You're going to kind of hang on that note. That's like your D minor chord, but you're just going to play the note. Switch to an A minor. You're going to play it this way though, with at the fifth fret, first, your first finger is going to be barred um, across the top four strings, and your ring finger is going to be at the seventh of the A string. And with your thumb, you could wrap it at the uh, fifth of the low E. So. Then it's gonna. Um, you play the A minor chord. You're gonna um, slide up to the seventh of the D. Five, five, seven on the G, and then come back to the D string, seventh fret. Slide it quickly down to the fifth. D string, and then so when you slide it down from the E minor to G, you're gonna do that little hammer on, and that's from the third to the fourth on the G string, but your first finger is barred, um, the top two strings are barred, and then you're going to be kind of hitting the G and the B strings. I think, I think he, well, most of the time he does that hammer on, but I was going to say you could bend it up, but I think, uh, I think he's doing a hammer on there. So and then when you're getting to the chorus, um, you're going to go from A minor to F, G, third time, I, I believe that it finishes with an A, so you're going to start with the A minor to, to G. A minor, F, A minor, F, G, now it's going to go to A. And for the solo, it's going to be in, in D. Yeah, I played in the first position, um, so it would be do the, the same uh, lick as like the opening lick. Um, five, three, five on the A. But then go to the B string.
I didn't quite do that right, but this is how it finishes. I think that Clapton does that a lot. Um, when when you're finishing it with this this last part of the solo, I'm gonna finish on this note at the tenth fret of the B string. But um, I think what Clapton does is he he he'll use his second finger, and that way you can get a little more vibrato on that note. Because if you with your first finger, you can't really get the same kind of vibrato. So. So then it's going to go back into the... Anyway, um, I think that's covers uh, most of what I wanted to go over. So uh, Clapton is such a smooth guitar player. That that song really um, that's a good example of just <laughs> how slick he is, you know, his playing and his rhythm playing is so smooth. that uh, this helps you and uh, take care. Talk to you soon.